Hello again, Conte. Anybody who knew me knew this was only a matter of time. Uh, I pretty much immediately after releasing the previous video got to work making a macro. I'm demonstrating it now, but I've turned this number down from 12 to 1. That just controls how many times it loops the flower gathering before resetting. I want to show the entire macro, you know, the restarting of the game and everything. And so I'm making it do a single loop, but in reality when you run it, each loop will run the quest 12 times. I want to emphasize that this is completely automated, so you can run it overnight. And so the footage you're seeing is a pretty standard. What you do is you turn on Monster Hunter Wilds and then you immediately start running the macro with Control 1. Uh, this is an auto hotkey script. I've talked about this in the past. You can search the channel for how to run them or you can just search for any other tutorial. There's plenty of them. There are a few things you need to do as prerequisites. Uh, turn off the memory of where you are in the pause menus. You want that to start from the, the standard location every time rather than remembering where you were last. Uh, and also get camps 3 and 10 and only camps 3 and 10 in the windswept plains. Also turn off auto explore. Also keep in mind that the macro is tuned for my system uh, so if you have for example much longer loading times you wouldn't maybe need to modify the script to account for that. Or if you have a different number of quests unlocked for example. The script itself is very simple, you're seeing footage of it run now. It will wait for the game to start up and then get you into a private lobby which guarantees the full moon. It'll then post the quest, which is one down and one to the right from the top left corner of the quest list, which assuming that you've unlocked everything and set it up right, uh, will be the quest required for this method. It'll then get the camp 10 flower with maybe like 70% accuracy, uh, warp to camp 3 and then get the camp 3 flower with more like 95% accuracy. I built the method to still work even if camp 10 is destroyed, and that does happen a lot. Uh, but you should probably manually intervene in order to uh, rebuild camp 10 just to get, you know, 50% more rates. It will loop until the day is over, it will then rest to daytime and save the game and then quit. After waiting for the game to fully close, it then restarts it and it will be able to get right back to it and do another, I think it's 12 loops each time. I genuinely don't know why I bothered doing this when they're patching it so soon, it would have been faster just to farm this manually. I, I think I'm in it for like the third of the hunt. Running this will get you about 50 flowers an hour if you're actively rebuilding the camps, maybe 35 if you're not. And if you run it overnight, you'll wake up the next day to, you know, maybe 300 or so flowers, which should be all you need until an expansion makes them obsolete. I don't think there's much else to say. Uh, auto hockey script is uh, linked in a paste bin or something. Um, take it easy. Bye-bye.